If you've already seen the complete version of this painting tutorial, you know there are two massive trees dominating the scene. In this short tutorial, I'll explain more in depth how to paint those. You start with a dark base. I use Van Dyke Brown uh, for this. And you basically paint the silhouette and the shape of the tree. It's a tree, so make your outline wiggly and uneven. As the light comes from behind the trees or from inside the canvas, the middle of the trees will be the darkest and this will fade to a lightest color at the edges. You start with adding lighter areas with a slightly lighter and greener color. Also don't make the lighter areas uh, solid but use like thin areas with wiggly lines uh, to still keep some of the cracks in the bask of the tree. For the second tree you repeat the dark base layer and making the tree lighter toward the edges with a more greenish but still kind of dark color. Don't be too frantic about perfection in the base layer stage, you can correct and add a lot later on in the process. We're using a greenish color here because, first of all, trees are often not as brown as we think. They're actually pretty green due to the moss and the algae. And since this is a swamp, they will be covered even more with those. Secondly, the color I'm using here, Olive Green Dark, has a bluish undertone which fits in with the rest of the scene.
Go over smaller areas closer to the edges with lighter, more bluish colors. I used turquoise for this, uh, which I also used in the background. It is important to let background colors come back in the subject of the painting to make the scenario, like the whole painting, more a whole. For the shadows under the roots, I use black this time. Normally you use the complementary color um, of the subject for the shadow, but since this painting is quite dark, I found black a better and more so suitable choice. For the highlighting the lost bumps, I used a color with a lot of white, but still some turquoise and green. Uh, again, to make it blend in with the rest of the painting and to keep unison within the colors. I used my finger and uh, a clean brush for fading the color out a bit, so it's not too harsh and also to keep the highlight thin. I also use this light color on a few bits uh, further, like more in the middle of the tree, because of how tree bark is. Uh, trees have no smooth surface and by adding such highlights you can accentuate bits that are sticking out a bit. The same goes for these like horizontal highlights, uh, they accentuate that the roots are not smooth and they make them more three-dimensional. 